I'm back, and I know I haven't been able to do my labor and delivery story yet, but I haven't really had enough free time in the last week or two to actually do that with watching Grayson. Um, if he stays on the schedule he has been today, I might actually be able to do it today, but we'll see how his next um, feeding goes and next nap. It was kind of hard getting him down for his last one. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I wanted to do a quick update while I did have time, just to let everyone know what's going on. Um, first of all, I'm doing really good, and Grayson's doing really good. I will say that on Wednesday of this week, there was just something very wrong with Grayson, and we didn't really know what it was. Um, I had woken up really sick on Wednesday, and... Grayson just wouldn't stop crying. Like, I thought he might have been starting his colicky stage. I really didn't know what was going on. But I just toughed it out all day long with him. Um, I pretty much cried all day. I did not feel well at all. Totally, like, my whole body was just so run down. I was engorged as well in one of my breasts. And... I couldn't relieve that pressure, and I had a headache, and I just, overall, I was just a hot mess on Wednesday, and so Grayson and I pretty much just cried together all day, which was fabulous, so once Jordan got home, he was on baby duty and let me take a nap, and that really helped me feel better, and um, when I had woken up in the morning, like around, I think it was, I woke up at like 7.30, um, Jordan had still been awake, Grayson had still been crying all night. He was eating, but he was like angry eating. When he was eating, he had a very angry face and he would cry periodically throughout each feed. It was really cute and really sad at the same time and he had done that all day. But he was still eating, so at least he has his priorities as well. Um, so yeah, when I got up, we both kind of came to the Mutual decision to go to the doctor. So I called at 8 o'clock and they said that I could go in that day. Um, when I went in, we kind of came to the conclusion that he had either acid reflux or he had a milk allergy. So we kind of have to figure out which is what's really going on. Sorry, he's starting to stir. But um, they gave us a new formula. I think it's Similac Spit Up, and it's for acid reflux usually. Well, it's for to help with it. And since we literally got home, I think at like 10, and yeah, we came home at 10, and he was hungry, so the first bottle that we made for the morning was with that, and he literally chugged that bottle, and under, I think it was like, three minutes flat that he drank that bottle and then he slept for a good like five hours so he was just exhausted he was so tired just because he hadn't slept at all and if he did sleep it was literally for like two minute intervals because whether he was my eyebrow looks funny in this lighting <laughs> whether we were holding him or he was laying on the couch with us or he was in his swing or his crib he would fall asleep for two minutes we put him in wherever we wanted to put him, and then he'd wake up, and that just went on all day. So yeah, ever since we started that formula, he's been doing great. Um, he hasn't been randomly fussy. He has been randomly, like, spitting up, but it's just, I think, it's just his cleft lip, like, or his cleft. It's just making things difficult, but every day it's getting easier, and we're working on trying to figure out what works best for him. So... I mean, he's sleeping right now, which is fabulous, <laughs> and he's eating a whole lot more now. I can't, I've been trying to kind of figure out how much he usually can drink, but he is just a very odd baby, like, I can't really keep track of how much he's eating, just because he'll eat, like, a whole bottle, and usually I make bottles at two ounces for him right now, just because that's kind of where um, his pediatrician and I had left off on trying to get him to eat at just because he, he wasn't eating that much for a while. So 
so I've been making two ounce bottles and sometimes he'll drink them all and then want more and sometimes he won't like this morning he had an entire bottle and then he was falling asleep so I kind of rocked him to sleep and I put him down in his chair and then like five minutes later he woke up screaming and I changed him and he took another two ounce bottle so and then I'm pretty sure after that he actually took another like 20 mils so I don't know he's just he's a crazy eater but he eats a lot and as of yesterday he is six pounds two ounces which is really really awesome we've come a long way I did bring him home at five pounds four ounces and he wasn't gaining weight at first um, once he left the hospital so that's why I go get weekly checks um, but now he's doing really good which is awesome now to update on what's going on with everything else <laughs> I know that was a long intro to get everyone up to date um, well, I'm trying to think. Well, first of all, he's going to be one month old tomorrow, which absolutely blows my mind. I can't believe that he's already a month old. On that note, we have been going to UNC to kind of plan out. I hope he stays asleep for me to finish this video. Yeah, he went back to sleep. Um, he's like right there, so I can kind of watch him. <laughs> But um, yeah, so we went to UNC last week to kind of sit down and talk to doctors and stuff and figure out a game plan on surgery and all that good stuff for his cleft lip and cleft palate. So yeah, we went on last Thursday, Wednesday, last Wednesday we went and we, Jordan and I actually went yesterday. Um, he had gotten his nam impression done and i know that i hadn't even mentioned that in any of my videos i did try to make a video before and i tried to upload it and give me an error message again so i don't know what's going on but it was explaining all of this just like a couple days ago <laughs> so a nam I'm, i forgot what it stands for but it's to like it's to help flare out the nostril because right now one of his nostrils is flat and i can actually after I do this video, I can show you guys him. Um, if he's still sleeping and calm. <laughs> but yeah, so it's supposed to flare out his nostril. It's supposed to like bring the cleft lip together. And then it's also supposed to bring the cleft palate together. Not that much. Like it's not going to close it up. But it's going to significantly bring it together. So that surgery is a lot easier. And so the results are a lot better. Um, he has to have this. I, would, I want to call it like a retainer. That's kind of the idea of what it is. He has to have this retainer in for eight weeks. Yes, for eight weeks. So and it's going to be really hard. He has to wear it 24-7. He's not going to like it. It's not comfortable. It doesn't look comfortable at least. And Grayson is very hard-headed and he likes what he likes. And if he doesn't like it, he'll tell you. Um... I figured that out when we went to UNC last week because they had given me, oh, what's it called? A different kind of bottle than the Pigeon, because um, we're using the Pigeon bottles and they're working out great for us. Um, they gave us another bottle to try and it literally went to his mouth. He tried to suck once and when he realized that he couldn't get the milk out like he was used to, he did not want it and he cried and would not even open his mouth back up for more unless we changed back the bottle which we did and he opened up and he loved it so it's very hard-headed <laughs> but yeah so I don't know he's probably not gonna like it too much but um I am really determined to not give up hope with it and I know it's going to be really really hard the I want to say he's an oral surgeon <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what he's considered, but I met with, I'm pretty sure he's the oral surgeon or plastic surgeon. I don't know. Either way, he's going to be the guy to do the surgeries on Grayson. I met with him yesterday. He did the impression and he said that the first two weeks is going to be the hardest and I'm going to need help from anyone I can. He gave me his personal phone number and was like, the only people who have this personal number of mine are cleft patients because... They are the ones that need the help the most. Um, he doesn't want me to give up. 
he says that it's going to be really, really tough on me to see whether I can handle it. But, um, yeah. If you don't know what a NAM is, go Google it right now on image search. Google NAM device, N-A-M, and you'll see what I'm talking about. It's really difficult, and it's probably going to irritate his skin. And Yeah, but either way, I'm prepared. And we actually go next Wednesday to get that placed in his mouth. So he wears it 24-7. I think I can, like, if it's hurting him or something, I can take it out and kind of assess the situation. Sometimes they do need to be like filed down some and um, put back in. So it's gonna be like trial and error to see if it works out for him. <laughs> but he gets that on Wednesday and then unfortunately he gets a circumcision on Thursday. So he's really going to hate us. It's just how it worked out. Um, I've been getting a lot of hate and just a lot of my family is really against me doing the circumcision the day after he's getting this in his mouth because they think it's too much stress and he's going to be really upset. But the way that I see it is if he's not, he's not already going to be happy and probably not eating very well because of the nam in his mouth, I'd rather go ahead and get the circumcision done so that it's not like a, another week of not eating and feeling well. It's just kind of all together. So if he's not going to feel well and not going to eat, I'd rather be like back-to-back -back days so that it's not so drawn out but knowing him I think he's gonna be mad and he's gonna be in pain but he's gonna angry eat like I was talking about earlier where he gives you the meanest saddest face as he's eating and crying at the same time because he's hungry and he's going to eat no matter what so yeah so that's back-to-back -back. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else I can update on I mean he's doing good otherwise um, he was sleeping or waking up, eating, whatever, every three hours. It's more sporadic now. It just really depends because, like I said, the whole eating thing is really sporadic at this point. I have no schedule for him as of right now. Um, everything else is good with him. I can't think of anything else to update on. With me, I'm still trying to pump. I'm not really getting, getting anything. Um, I've been using a hospital-grade pump. So, if I'm not really getting much with that, I don't really have hope of getting much with anything else. Um, my pediatrician is actually giving me a, a portable one. I'm guessing at my appointment, his weight check on Monday. Um, but we'll see. I'm still trying. I mean, sometimes I can get an ounce out of both, like, combined. Sometimes I can't really even get that sometimes. I'll get like four ounces. I don't know. It's just, it's been really hard. But since we have found a formula that we like and he likes so far, I'm content with just using that. Anything that I do pump, I kind of, um, I kind of like divide up into little bottles every day, like throughout the day, just so that he at least gets some breast milk, even if it's in like tiny, tiny amounts, just to, you know, to help him because the cereal, the formula he's on has like rice cereal added to it and that's supposed to kind of constipate him so the breast milk I hope is helping a little bit I mean his bowel movements so far haven't been hard or anything like that granted he is in extreme like pain when he is trying to go to the bathroom and has gas but he gets it out so yeah um, like I said, I'm doing really good other than the whole breastfeeding thing. I am exhausted and I could definitely use a lot more sleep, but it's okay. <laughs> That's being a new mom for you. If you want to see any videos like what's in my diaper bag or stuff like that, just let me know. Um, I do still get on YouTube all the time when I do have downtime like my apartment right now if you were to see it you would be like holy mother of god because it is disgusting and that is what I'm going to do right after this video is clean except for looks like Grayson's waking up so I'm just like I'm just trying to do everything I'm trying to juggle everything and my parents want me to visit them all the time and Jordan and I don't even get time to ourselves right now we haven't gone out together babyless to do anything um we're hoping that we can soon 
just hard being a new parent, especially when, like, I'm a stay-at-home mom. I don't know. It's just really hard. Um, I know people can relate to that. I'm not the only one who is having a hard time trying to juggle everything. But luckily, Jordan doesn't get frustrated when he comes home and sees the apartment a mess because 90% of the time, he's the one to help make it look this way because I clean a lot and his apartment will be spotless and then he'll come home and it's like, what the, why, where did everything come from? Where did all this trash come from? Where did all the clothes come from? So I think he knows that he kind of helps make the mess so he doesn't say anything. <laughs> but yeah, so let me know. I'm sorry, I'm just rambling, but I'm just trying to let every, you guys know everything that's going on just in case I can't make a video as soon as I'd want to. <laughs> So yeah, uh, let me know if you guys want certain videos from me. Like I said, I'm going to try very hard to do my labor and delivery video today. Maybe after this one, maybe a little bit later. Either way, I'm going to work on doing that today so that you guys can watch it before it's like way too late and you guys are like, why did you even make that? It's stupid. That was like forever ago. But... <laughs> I'm interested in documenting it so that I can go back and remember everything that's going on as well. So yeah, I will talk to you later, guys. And I guess I can do a shot of Grayson if you guys bear with me because he is kind of far from where I am. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I will see you guys soon, okay? Bye!